next, an inside look into the Rolling Stones' Voodoo Lounge. No, you just keep going. Don't look at the end bit of it. Really like, it. It's a, it's don't count the anyway. shows. That's a good trick. The In Concert Artist Profile is brought to you by Wrigley's Big Red. It's five years since we started still with the steel wheels. And you, know, it's like, you never know. You, you, that's one of the interesting things about it. You're not quite sure you know, what's going to be different. I mean, the obvious difference is, hey, we've got a new bass player. We're here to announce the... Uh, Rolling Stones World Tour of 1994-1995. How do you react to uh, criticisms by some of the media that you're just doing this for the money? Right over here. What about all the beer you can drink and all the girls down the front? There's other things than money. <laughs> They need an audience, really. That's the only thing that they need. The boys can play anything. It's just a matter of what and what in what order and what fits. You know, so we're waiting for the show to come to us, and when we've got it, then we'll give it to them. Mike was probably a pretty good indication of it, but I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit different, <laughs> you know, I mean, the stone, man. so I'm, you know, what can I say, I'm almost speechless. Everyone's asked me about Daryl and what's it like to play with him, but I never played for him, which is amazing. <laughs> he was happening, it was really good, he was laid down and very really solid, very good trying, it was great. <laughs> sort of took years off of my life seeing all the bras coming on stage you see two or three bras on there tonight it's incredible bill you're missing the scenery free enough to say, hey, let's do, you know, let's change this, let's change four tonight, this one, that one, uh, you know, I mean, I understand the first week or so, hey, you want to, you want to get down the basic, you know, the framework of it, but within a week or so, I would like to be able to feel free to, like, change three or four songs a night. So I'm happy that everybody in the band is confident enough to, like, do that. And that's what I'm looking for. Confidence is free to turn and say, let's do Midnight Ramp, like, get the lighting block out here or whatever. You know? Coming up, more Rolling Stones from the Voodoo Lounge. Something I never heard before. Um, there'll be a lot of surprises this time around along those lines, pulling some old tricks out of the bag. Yeah, there's some old ones. There's, we're doing seven new songs from the Voodoo Lounge channel. And we're doing quite a lot of songs we've never done. And I mean, I've purposely left out quite a few that we might be expected to do, but we're still doing old favourites, so it's kind of mixed, hopefully it's going to, I mean, plus we've got a whole section in this show where we, which will change every night, so, we, I don't know what we're going to play in this section, but yeah, so it's a bit different. And now, the AT&T in-concert calendar. Love is 